hello folks so in this video i am going to introduce uh, neural networks or artificial neural networks or neural net to you so that path forward to learn neural network frameworks like convolution neural network uh, recurrent neural networks or long short term uh, memory based neural uh, recurrent neural networks will become easier for you to understand i will be explaining various building blocks of neural networks like uh, neurons input layer hidden layer output layer etc in this video so once you understand the basics then you would be able to develop and train more complex uh, neural networks in fact you can then utilize existing benchmarked uh, pre-trained neural network to tweak them a bit in order to make it your uh, in fact in order to make your own uh, models right so watch this video till the end to establish the foundation of deep neural network folks this is nitin who is on a mission to democratize the artificial intelligence big data hadoop cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world and with this aim i am uh, regularly creating the associated content and publishing it as well on a periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these modern technologies you can subscribe to my channel uh, in fact and uh, or press bell icon to keep on getting the latest updates regarding hottest technologies of the 21st century you can also follow me on twitter and facebook at the links given above and i have also added subtitles in languages like hindi english and french for your convenience so you can enable them as per your needs so when it comes to a neural network artificial neural networks are computing models which are inspired by the brain of human okay and these neural networks are collection of neurons which are interconnected together okay and neurons are the basic building blocks of neural network you can say so just like human brain a neuron in artificial neural network can transmit a signal to other neuron and that receiving neuron transmits the signal to the downstream neurons okay now these neurons are organized in layers and each neural network has um, so when i'm saying layers uh, each neural network has an input layer a hidden layer or hidden layers depending upon how complex your neural network is and an output layer so based on the kind of problem uh, we are trying to solve different layers can perform different operations on the input and signals generally travel from uh, input layer to output layer okay and in between these two uh, layers we can have one or multiple hidden layers as i told you earlier so let's take a closer look at a typical neural network so here you can see this is my artificial neural network diagram okay so here uh, the first layer called input uh, the first layer is input layer right uh, where each of these uh, circles are called nodes or neurons so in the first layer which is an input layer these circles are referred as nodes or neurons you can see that each of uh, you know input node is connected to other nodes in the middle layer called hidden layer so signals essentially getting transmitted from input layer to hidden layer right now the nodes in the hidden layer are connected with nodes in the output layer transmitting message from itself to the output layer so from a conceptual perspective every neural network is essentially organized into these three types of layers but from a different framework perspective that is whether we are building convolution neural network or recurrent neural network we can introduce several other types of layers as a part of core input hidden and output layers we have layers like uh, you know different layers like convolution layer fully connected or dense layer pooling layer normalization layer recurrent layer etc right now each of these different layers has different significance and hence perform a specific transformation or task for example recurrent layer is used for textual data or time series data 
whereas convolution uh, convolution layer and pooling layer uh, are used for image uh, data okay and dense layer uh, is in fact connects the input layer with output layer so let's move on uh, so in first layer or input layer we have three neurons or nodes here you can see very well right so we have three nodes here or neurons each of these nodes represent individual features from each sample within our data set and we can see that each of these nodes are connected with each individual nodes in the hidden layer uh, if we move right right so here you can see this is the hidden layer and each of the input layer uh, node is uh, you know associated with other individual nodes in the hidden layer so each of these connections uh, transfer the output or the signal from the previous node to a receiving node in the next layer right and each of these connections has an assigned weight which is a decimal number uh, between 0 and 1 now these weights represent the strength of connection between these nodes and when you receive the input in the input layer then that input passes to the next node of hidden uh, layer using this connection and during this process the input is multiplied with weight assigned to the corresponding connection okay and then after that a weighted sum is then calculated which with each of the connections that are directed to this particular node or neuron now this sum is then passed to the activation function which essentially transforms the result to a number between 0 and 1 okay now result of uh, this transformation from the activation function is then passed to the neuron in the next layer Please note that this process repeats itself uh, multiple times, okay? Uh, and we call that particular process of repeating, uh, you know, again, time and again as back propagation. I repeat, it's back propagation. So the process uh, of repeating uh, this, uh, you know, entire process multiple times is called back propagation, uh, okay? And which I'm going to explain later on. Uh, since uh, you know there is a lot to cover in this video so uh, such so when i'm saying uh, pr this process repeats multiple times uh, it is in such a way that the weights for these connections gets updated continuously during the whole training process so you move from left to right to get the output once you get the output uh, in fact uh, there is a observed value and then there is a, a, a actual value in fact there is an expected value as well as there is an actual value so the difference between expected and actual value is called error okay now this error is feed um, you know fed, fed back to the input once again and the weights get uh, in fact updated multiple times so in a nutshell uh, you know during this entire process the weights of these connection gets updated continuously during the whole training process to get the optimized value of weights as the model learns from the data so finally we advance forward to output layer where we have two nodes right you have, you can see that there are two nodes now each of these nodes represent a category as you can treat this model as a classification right so each of these nodes represent a category that is if if the model we are building as associated with uh, classifying an image let us say uh, classifying between aeroplane or car so whenever, whenever we give a image to a model it will either classify that uh, image as aeroplane or car because we have only two types of images uh, one uh, we have aeroplane images and another car images so essentially we have two categories of data or two category of images so we are kind of classifying it uh, uh, classifying these two types of images so each of these output node represents either an aeroplane or car and if we want to classify numerical digit so uh, like let us say if uh, here we have only two categories or uh, right let us say i have 
now i have 10 categories and if we and when i'm saying 10 category uh, i'm uh, i mean to say is that let us say if we want to classify numerical digits from 0 to 9 right so 0 to 9 that means 10 categories correct or 10 types of output then the output layer will have 10 nodes each of them depicting a single digit right so it depends how many types of uh, categories uh, you are expecting to be classified so in the case of digits example we have 10 digits 0 to 9 so essentially we will have 10 nodes here okay and each node will represent a single digit so folks this is it for this video to conclude i can uh, i explained artificial neural networks or ann to you i also explained various layers of it and how information passes from layer to one layer to another so folks uh, let me ask you a question from the video i explained today which layer in neural network explains the feature of the features of the data set please share your comments in the comment section given below because some of the best tips and feedbacks comes from you only and if you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video okay so thanks for hanging out with uh, with me guys i will be covering next topics in the upcoming videos so keep on watching thank you